Hello everyone, this is Jonathan from MTG Modern Ad Nauseam and welcome to league number 4 and match number 2. So we just lost the die roll. We had a pretty good uh, pretty good run game 1. Really happy about the win. Let's see how far we can go in this league. Um, I'm happy with the mana. I don't have country but I have one scry. I have one piece of combo-ish. I think this second Simian Spirit guy, even both of them are pretty much dead card here. Um, but the fact that we're good on mana and we already have one piece of combo, I think it is a keep here. I would have been very, um, very comfortable with a cantrip, but uh, I, I, I would say it's a keep. Our opponent seems that he, mul he mulligan to six. Okay. Forest again. Search for tomorrow. All right. We might just. So how does um, uh, this hand look against another? Titan shift and well, I feel more comfortable now. Uh, suspend. So I think it's looking great. We 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 not not worrying about any Kalis of the Void here. Game one, and we're just gonna go with a slide of hands. Hopefully, getting some Angel Grace. Beautiful. Our game plan is looking very good here. All right. So ideally, we would like to get our. Ad nausea. Of course. We're still, uh, well, we're still not 100% sure about what we're playing, but it seems rather obvious here, yeah, far seek and, and, uh, and a lot. So we are set. I think we are set for a turn 4 kill if, if need be. And another spell of the vault. And we're going to scry. We have nothing else to do. And we're just gonna dig for ad nauseum. That's all what we need. Even though, so in terms and hand here it is perfect. Put on top of a library, and F six. So we are good to combo um, game four. And the thing is, even though I op or I could technically spoil for it, does that? Uh, I could technically spoil for it at the end of the turn. So I'm not gonna pass. Because these two spoils are definitely a bit, a bit too much. I'm just worried that um, is there something that he can do to shuffle the library that we're not aware of? I, 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 I would say that would be very smart to do spoil of the vault for Anosium, but we definitely don't need it. Definitely don't need. And let's say, let's say we never know what can happen. Anyway, we cannot combo that turn, and we'll just pass the turn and combo next turn. If, even if we destroy your land, it's going to be very hard. So we'll still be able to combo. So we're going to go F6 here, and yes, even though we have only uh, black land here, we can still combo because we can have a triple white from uh, from our Lotus Bloom. And what our opponent is doing here? Okay, it's passing the turn, so he doesn't seem to have anything. Uh, do we want to uh, let's turn off? Maybe he's planning to to de to destroy our Lotus Bloom as early as he can. No, and we dropping our Pact of Negation. Whatever, whatever his plan is, we should be able to counter it. Uh, technically, we don't need to combo now, but do we want to wait? Uh, I would say I will feel. Um, I don't know because if I do it now, I still have the land drop and the ability to do lab maniac just in case he has anything that he can that he can do here. I don't think he can do anything. I don't think it's we have any um, any reason to wait. So I will just go for it and I will just learn if if it doesn't go through. Andrew Grace. Oh, our opponent seems to be on uh, F6, so it's looking fairly good. And we add nausea. Yes. Uh, let's pause and let's come. I'll come back in a few seconds. All right. So our opponent is um, nice enough to concede here. So we know what to um, what to sideboard. Echoing truth, very important. Thought is very important. Uh, if he doesn't have any Simian spirit guide, we can discard. The Kalis of the Void, 
be very happy about that. Pact of Negation, Patrice and Scorn. Enchantment, there is no enchantment that we want to kill, the Line of Sanctity. Um, mana leak, so yes, so let's talk about the remove part. Um, what did you remove? We're going to remove Mikokoro. I'm happy to start to remove two mana rock this time. Um, we want to remove all our Pact of Negation. And then we can keep two spells. Because if he if he earn uh, off, but the thing it doesn't spells doesn't go through Kalis. So even if we get to a a point, uh, maybe maybe spell can be removed here because of that. Echo in truth. Can we bring? Can do? Maybe we want to be more interactive and bring the mana leak. But it's. I don't think so. Um, maybe we're just gonna keep the spell. Oh, slow the pact. Slow the pact. This this is the thing that can help us gain a couple of turn, and uh, we're good to go. One spell, you keep one spell. That's fine. That is the Lab Sanctity Lab Maniac. We keep the whole suite suite of um, guide maniac. We have this uh, against Kalisa one. We also have a control. I think we are we are ready to go. How does it look? It looks like we have no piece of combo, but we have double cantrip, which is risky because let's say if that hand hits a Kali's turn one, uh, we're pretty much dead. Pretty much dead. I'm tempted to mulligan here. I think we can do better. I think we can do better. And even though we face a turn two Kali's, we'll still have one certain vision that's gonna die. But we have two scry, which is good to go around Kali's. In terms of mana, hey, no, no, we have, no, I, uh, I'm hesitating. Maybe we shouldn't be too worried. Turn one, Kalis is, uh, it's pretty unusual. Okay, I don't know, I don't know. I think we'll just give it a go. We'll just give it a go. Yes, and we're gonna have something to do. Okay, so a Kalis other one will be very uh, problematic, and here. Because I value my Serum Vision more than my Sled of Hand, and because we still have this Kali's turn one that can happen, I will I would rather do, and also because I don't think we we need the Lotus Bloom here, so I'll value I'll do Serum Vision first. We have a Slaughter Pact, and we have Firection and Life. We want that. We want that. We want our Firection and Life on top, and I think we're gonna put City of Bryce at the bottom because we have we're gonna have quite a bit of um. Of scry and uh, so put on top. We're gonna have quite a bit of scry plus country potentially, and we'll, we'll definitely get to another land. And having this reaction life is is great. Explore. Okay, no Kalis. Our opponent might just go the um, strategy that I suggested in uh, my previous video, which is just go for it. Go for it and kill me as fast as you can. There is no ley line here, so... We draw a Dark Slick Show and we have land land, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are good, so we just want to draw Adnosium. And we're going to Scry, or we're going to Slide of Hand. And get rid of our 1 mana cost. And Seachrome uh, uh, Coast, City of Brass. What do we want here? Um, I'm happy to take City of Brass. Um, no, we can just we could simply see Chrome Coast next turn and do Fear Action and Life. We can do as well with City of Brass, but let's let's keep our life, and we will put see Chrome Coast in hand. We're good in terms of colors anyway. Okay, so we have used all our cantrip. And we have a slaughter pact. That's so. If he's bringing the beat down plan, we'll we'll be there. And it seems that turn off auto yield. All right. All right. 
and let's get to our turn echoing true let's do what we were supposed to do it might not be that wise to get it that early because our opponents now can remove it but he has three cards in hand we know that he has turn of photo yield so he's paying for the pact And then pass the turn probably. Play a land, pass the turn. Yeah. So he's gonna he's definitely gonna uh, he revealed the uh, Oh he went to search Sakura Tribe Elder. Maybe he's already had already has what he needs. And Andrew Grace. So that's not the one we wanted to see, but we have we should have quite a bit of time. And Andrew Grace is still not what we want to see. This Angel Grace can definitely help us because he can he can technically remove that. We good. We have six mana, and he can uh, also can also give us a turn. So now Tireless Tracker, investigate. All right, that looks rather slow, but we're, we're looking good there. Then we're looking good. Lotus Bloom is not gonna do it. We're just gonna keep digging and add those and put on top of our library. Our opponents should know that's not looking good. That we decide to put this on top, turn off. And we have a slow the pact. But slow the pact, let's not. Let's not be too reckless with our slow the pact because um, we're gonna have to draw after we pay the pact. So let's not use it if we don't absolutely need to. Okay, so he's doing. He wants to draw, which is f which is fair enough. Here, he wants to. Oh, and this thing gets plus one, plus one as well. When you sack a clue, okay, that's um, that's actually much better than I than I thought. And he's gonna keep on going. Try to do the beat down, and that's looking very good for us. If that's what he's doing, because now he's running out of mana. And and even though he's doing a Kalis. Oh, anyway, we have fractional knife, but. Even if he's doing case at five, he won't. He won't make it. So he's gonna attack for for quite a bit with his style striker, and then we should be able to win that game. All right. So he has only um, He has only this. Maybe he has nature's claim and is planning to. So one, two, three, four, five. So the thing that we. So one big mistake we could do is say woohoo, tap five mana, cast ad nauseum, and say yeah, we're gonna win the game. And then our opponent is doing, in response, uh, is doing something like destroy for action and life, and then we're looking bad. So what we could do here, we can still do woohoo. And do ad nauseum, but keep a white mana. So if he's doing anything stupid, we'll just cast Angel Grace, and that will be that will still be good. We'll still be good to go. Okay, so we're in our main phase, Exile Steam in Prude Guide. And we're going woohoo. And he's conceding straight away. Thank you very much, because uh, it's always a little bit annoying to to do the, the whole combo. So we getting the same deck twice in a row and we are very lucky because first, <clears throat> this is a very good matchup, one of our best matchup. It's very difficult for our opponents to interact with us and we have a, a few good way to um, to naturally interact with them like a Leyline of Sanctity. Even though we don't we don't bring that card for, for that deck, we bring it for against this card. It still works wonder against against him and we're just we're just faster. We're just faster uh, overall, and also we lucky because we are lucky in terms of our draw. Uh, we we have good top decks. The thing is, we we can't forget that in that specific game we have scryed three times, twice, and can trip three times. So when we say we have good top deck, uh, we we've worked, we work for it. So we. Uh, we have bottomed quite a bit of things before we can top deck uh, at Nauseam. 
So here goes. I'm very happy with this with these results, of course. And hopefully we get we get to see even more of this. Uh, I will call it um, uh, blue uh, blue red green Titan shift. I think that's one of the name. Or on MTG Tope they call it simply Valakut, but uh, I think I think that's not very accurate because another strategy is the is the just the Emrakul cool strategy, which which will work much better against us, by the way. Uh, just having this Emrakul cool going. Uh, Turn three or four uh, should uh, should um, should work much better against us than this this deck. But that's the deck that I quite that I quite like. I've I've always wanted to to try that on paper. I've, ne I've never had the chance yet. This uh, red green um, Titan shift. So that's what I'm going to call it. And then um, very happy with the result. And let's go to game three. And hopefully we still get the same kind of luck, whether it's draw or matchup. Thank you very much.